Hello there, everybody. It is me, Noni Moment Seven Spore, and joining me today is Dicky from RVT War Games Analysis. And uh, we're back with the German Rule the Waves Two campaign. So um, we are. Oh, hold on! I forgot to post. No, I did post the announcement, um, but I forgot to do an at message for you. There we go. Just in, in the Rule of Waves Discord. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, last episode, if I recall correctly, we lost two carriers, right? So we lost Europa. No, we lost one carrier last episode. I'm getting it confused because I lost a carrier in the British campaign too, like the next day. Um. So we lost the carrier Europa, but. We were able to get, um, like, four, yeah, we traded for, like, four Japanese, um, carriers. Am I right? No. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, we right. devastated them. I mean, I say we. You devastated yeah. them. Did we trade for Japanese? No, we might have traded for battle cruisers. Yeah, I think we traded, no, hmm. I'm trying to remember, because in the British campaign I traded for like four American. Yeah, yeah, I traded for four American carriers. I'm trying. I'm getting the two campaigns confused. Oh God! But I think I did get something from the uh, Japanese ships. We did trade favorably, and then Italy we managed to knock out two CVLs and their two remaining battle cruisers, which has put them in a situation where this is their strongest ship. Um, and then, aside from that, they have uh, light cruisers. Russia is still in a pretty good boat with a lot of battle cruisers in service. And a uh, proper CV as well as a CVL. Russia is still probably the strongest nation out of the bunch. Currently, the goal is to try to invade the Italian possession. Actually, let me check. Okay, not invadable. Um, currently, our goal is to invade the Italian possession of Sardinia. And, yeah, uh, we also have a number of ships in Rebuild. German builds only VCs, yes. So, yeah, currently Hindenburg, Prince Albert, and Rune are in Rebuild, as well as, you know, four destroyers being constructed. And, yeah, and some of our air bases are expanding. We get more aircraft on the monthly balance is bad, but, you know, largely because of invasion planning. I... Don't think I see anything I need to desperately do this turn, so I should probably just hit next turn. Yeah. See what battle we get. Um, I'd love to buy it. I think I need the money for the invasion. Yes, you're a bit low. Yeah. A Italian fighter, firepower 6, top speed 244, combat radius 160. Nautical miles. So their float plane can only go 147 nautical miles. Uh, I think we know what the Congo looks like, or the Congo class looks like. Hey, new fighter prototypes. So, good news is firepower has gone up. You can get either a 9 or a 10. Um, Dornier has. No. The Messerschmitt has the best range, but the Dornier is not far behind it. Um, I think I'm gonna write. I'm gonna rule out the Heinkel. Yeah, I Heinkel. think the Messerschmitt. Yeah, the question More is, than... you know, that's three extra range, three extra max speed, but the Dornier has one extra firepower and a little bit heavier of bomb load. The Messerschmitt's more maneuverable, and it's tougher. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I think I'll go with the Messerschmitt. Virginia delayed. We've lost a destroyer and another destroyer. Russia has lost a CA. Excellent. Oh my god, there's so many enemy subs in service. Air bases have finished expanding. Triple blockade. Quickly checking the trade protection force if they're all 
Still on trade protection, yeah. Okay, um... Still lined up on Sardinia. It might be a little difficult because uh, we only have slight superiority over Italy in the region. But even so, in terms of ships, uh, we do have a massive advantage. Might and it's the middle of winter. Yep. My thought right now is to refit one of the ships in Northeast Asia. So... Probably either Sadlitz or our first Bismarck. Yeah, we'll send Sadlitz in. Okay, so the reason I, you know, the thoughts would have been, you know, one of these three. Either Hansa, Sadlitz, or first Bismarck. Now, Hansa has an elite crew, so I think I don't want to do that. A, a refit would get rid of the elite crew status. Fuck a wolf? Yeah, no, fuck a wolf. So I think it will be Sadlitz. Can't get a better director on her. We can get anti-aircraft directors. Does she have a full plane? Yes, she does. And yeah, more anti-aircraft guns is good. I think that's what I can get for her right now. At some point in the future, we'll probably w I'll probably want to do like major rebuilds, even on these older ships. All right, so Sadlitz will take four months. It looks like uh, Aldebert's going to take a little longer. These rebuilds are taking kind of long, but you know they'll dump them out in northern Europe, and that'll help against Russia. And then you know I could also choose to send some to the Med if needed. Yeah, and it would take as long to get them back from uh, Northeast Asia. Yeah. We're not needing as much deployed out there right now, especially with like Friedrich Karl, Lutzow, um, Scharnhorst, and Nisenau out there. Actually, we don't even need all those. I'm going to move Nisenau over to the Mediterranean normally. Because, yeah, Japan only has two battle cruisers. Okay, I think that is save the next turn. Oh wait, hold on, aircraft types. Yeah, any private plane designs available? Don't think so. Okay, so getting new fighter in service. I think I want a replacement torpedo bomber because I can only build four float or four aircraft types. That would be torpedo bombers, flying boats, float plane, or yeah, torpedo bombers, flying boats, float plane scouts, and fighters. I'm not allowed dive bombers, I'm not allowed medium bombers. Yeah, its range is looking pretty poor now. Range heavy is 264 on the torp bomber. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go speed and range on the new torpedo bomber. I think those are the two most important qualities right now. And not seeing anything else I need to change. We'll get Hindenburg out here in a moment. Cruiser action off Japan. I'll accept. Okay. So this is an interesting location. Because... Airbase-wise, I think we have a slight advantage. We have battle cruisers out. We have two carriers out. Um, or three carriers out. I'm gonna press land base cap over the battle cruisers, and uh, carriers will provide their own cap. So we got yeah, Benetta, Prussian, and Hertha. Okay, so likely there's going to be two Japanese battle cruisers about, and likely both Japanese carriers are going to come about. How do I want to split up the strikes? 
So I got Hertha in the lead division, and then uh, Veneta and Prussian in the uh, rear division. So I can deploy torpedo bombers from each of them. Mm. Um, okay, you know what? Here's my thought. I think with Prussian, I'm just going to ready up, you know, torpedo bombers flat out. Do I want to uh, have a squadron of torpedo bombers with bombs loaded on them? Do, wanna tr do I want to be trying to use torpedo bombers for level bombing? Only a squadron or two. Just to get you something can... else. You could do it on Prussian, which has slightly fewer torpedoes. Well, Prussian is the one I'm doing the full torpedo bomber strike on. Um, okay, let me check. So that's a high... Which carrier has the highest spot value? Tie between Hertha and uh, Veneta. Here's my thought. I'm going to ready the strike on Hertha, where some of the torpedo bombers have bombs. That strike will attempt to go after enemy carriers. Um, Veneta and Prussian will attempt to strike uh, the Japanese battlecruisers. Mm. So, How much time do you have? It, it looks like it's half past two in the afternoon. Yeah. I have time 500. I don't have that much time. We're going to have to... Uh, probably launch it whatever the first contact we see is yeah but if we're lucky it'll go into tomorrow yeah no time will last 500 we only no have worry. 500 good news is we got friedrich carl lutzow and scharnhorst which is a really mm -hmm. good set of battle cruisers recon flights taken off actually okay so your recon path is over here so they're probably somewhere in here to your recon path, your recon path here. There? What I'm wondering, and this is kind of gamey, is it automatically sets the uh, search arcs of air bases, but I think they're going to be pointed in the vague direction where the enemy is located. So I'm looking at these search arcs and seeing if I can figure out, you know, exactly where they are. They're almost definitely in this area. Yeah, I agree. Air formations are ready. Okay. Still a little closer to the coast. And I want to see where the reports put them. Oh, weather limits air operations. Great. After I readied everything. Well, the wind is calm and the weather is low clouds. Yeah. So we're not getting good spotting reports because the weather's so bad. All right. Um, just in case they get shot at, uh, we're striking below deck. Yep, so that was just poorly timed. Hmm. Well, it's winter, and you're in a northerly latitude, so the day yep. isn't very long. I have no idea where the enemy is. I'm so done to Yeah, they should have been... Get no contact between fleets. Do I want to continue searching? Or No. I'll keep searching. We do have radar. So that, would, that would suggest they've either gone down south, or they've gone through the straits. Oh, well. Yeah, they, yeah, they had one battle cruiser, and they didn't actually have any carriers deployed. Right. Where were they? Yeah, in the straits. 
So, yeah, they had gone this way and then just turned back. We were going this way. Our aircraft didn't spot them because... Uh, part of it was the right outside the airbase. <laughs> Okay, so if they started here, they might have not actually been in the search arcs. So I think it was expecting that, okay, they'd move here, and then they're like, oh, no, we're we're heading back this way. Or, as you know, I'm trying to run them down, but it just didn't work. All right, missed opportunity. Italy's having issues. Mm-hmm. Level budget increases. More destroyers. Sinking more enemy subs, though. Thank God, I actually have money. Okay, Hindenburg is back. I think yeah. I do throw another ship in. Um, That will probably be... Uh, First Bismarck here. You know, I think I spend this money on more air groups. So, um... Yeah. What if I just get, like, more torpedo bomb? Should I get... No, 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 no. More fighters at, uh... Bonificio. Mm-hmm. With the idea being that I can, you know, when the invasion of Sardinia happens, I can provide land base or better land based cap. Um, Do you want to expand the airbase? Oh, it is 80 already. Yeah. Where's Revel? Where's Revel? Probably expand those airbases again. There we go. Also, ah. San Florian at the other end of Corsica. Yeah, I did not expand that one. I don't think it's super important to do so right now, given the current state of Italy is in. But Bonificio would be providing, uh, Bonifacio, sorry, Bonifacio would be providing uh, air cover for anything here. So I think that is very important right now. So I do think it is probably worthwhile to get more aircraft at these various air bases. And if need be, it might also be worthwhile to get extra flying boat squadrons to better counter enemy submarines. Um, let me actually take a look at the map. So, Revel probably want fighters. Um, I'm going to put fighters at Riga as well. So these, those two would be uh, trying to provide protection in the region. Uh, Lebao, um, what, torp bombers or flying boats? I like torp bombers there. Although I'm going to change the number to 16 and then change the number of flying boats to 12. And then just do that at um, Revel as well. I'll do that at Riga. No. Yeah, I'll do that at Riga. I don't think the mic's picking it up, but RAF strike aircraft are just roaring overhead for me oh. at the moment, just for extra atmosphere. I'm reversing change uh, Revel, but I'll keep it at the other two. So I'm assuming, like, Typhoons or, like, lighter aircraft? Typhoons, probably. Okay. Increase the research budget. Add it low just because of the war. 
Where are you in terms of tech versus all the rest? I have to check. I don't feel like that's a good area to try to read. Japan. Oh, unexpected destroyer action here. Okay. Yeah, we can check the almanac real quickly. I believe. Oh, wait, no, is there not an almanac here? Yeah, I think I have to actually go back into the. Oh, it doesn't give map. you the full thing. No, it gives me part of it, but not the full thing. Actually, does it? Yeah. Oh, no, it does. Oh, so you're very advanced, even with only running at 8%. Yeah. Yeah, they're all backward. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Is the whole world right now either very advanced or backward? Yes. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh, the duality of man. Very advanced and backward. I mean, that can be about five texts behind. I mean, it doesn't equate directly, but it's likely to be at least that. Okay, so apparently there's a Russian destroyer squadron about somewhere. I have no idea no, where. Night time. Are they, like, sailing through here? Or th oh, no, they're over here. So 20 knots. I'll engage, because, like, I have a lot of destroyers. Or saying 11 destroyers. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we've identified something here. Unsure of what. It's moving slowly. Oh, it's a Russian merchant in, in our waters. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, good, good job. So I think given the spawn location of the battle, it's normally like, oh, you know, these are Russian ports, so we'll give it to Russia. And it's like, this mm -hmm. is a German air... Baltic states are a German airfield currently. There. Where? Oh. The north there. Okay. Normal speed. This is definitely them. I was seeing multiple flashing. Uh... Yep, that's them. Seeing multiple flashing uh, signatures. Um, they don't seem to know you're there. I, they might not have radar. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Cut this way. Now they do. Oh, what's this group doing? The other thought is that I sprint in front of them and cut them off. Man, how nice it would would it be to have like radar fire control right now? Cause yeah, they're mm. gonna hit that peninsula, and that's gonna seriously slow them down. So if we go like I mean, thirty knots and cut in front of them, but they are stuck in in the Gulf of Riga anyhow. Yeah, they have no base there. Oh, we're launching torpedoes. Come on. They have no clue we're here. Nope. Oh, that's another enemy merchant. Right. So we've crossed the T of the enemy destroyers. Aralid and target practice. Okay, we've hit a merchant with a tor or we've hit the merchant with a torpedo. We did hit one of the enemy destroyers with a torpedo. Um, it does look like some of our ships are getting shot up a little bit. But yeah, we've crossed their T. 
So which destroyer did we hit? We hit this one. It's looking in not particularly great shape. There's a torpedo going up this way. Firing at this guy, or are you firing at someone else? I don't know. Good shot. Um, oh god, don't don't turn into them. Please turn around. Okay, so that was actually a really successful attack. Um, doing a quick damage report here. So, D2 has a little bit of structure damage. 223 has a little bit of structure damage. 229 took a hit. It looks like generally light damage overall on our forces. All fine. Yeah. We're still in fighting condition. That's, at the very least, two Russian destroyers crippled. They're heading back into us. Well, they have to go north and then west to get out. Yeah. Actually... Oh, wait, are they? Okay, there's one. That one's sinking. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna not attack that, because it's sinking. <laughs> like, they very clearly spotted us, but, you know. We know well, they saw the gun flashes, whether they could actually yeah. tell who you were. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm wondering if that... Well, I mean, we spotted that one, so I'm going to assume that that uh, sinking ship spotted us. That they have an idea where we are. Yeah, okay, they're running north now. Question is, do I push my luck, especially after I've done like a successful torpedo attack, or not? Keep the lid. I mean, we've nearly ended the clock, so I mean, if you wanted to withdraw and disengage, the game would. Uh agree with you. Okay, that looks like one of the damaged ones kind of trailing there. Yeah, okay. So there's a damaged destroyer trailing. My thought is we engage these damaged or this damaged destroyer here. So most of them are retreating. Now they're coming around back at us. So now we can do this little uh, cross their teeth. I don't think that the Russians have radar, and I think that's really mm -hmm. hurting them here. Because I, I know exactly what their force is doing, and they have no clue. That is another destroyer badly damaged. Yeah, and if you come to them from an unexpected angle, so they think you're to the south, so if you go to the east or the west and then come from that direction... They come around this way. I did see it looked like an enemy destroyer was potentially getting a little close. Although. You know, if, if any of them, like, kind of sail back towards me, I will uh, be opportunistic. You know, like a vulture. I saw one sailing this way. It looks like it's just rejoining formation.
Oh, hey, there's a cripple. So that's probably another cripple right there. Yeah, that ship's now dead. In the water. Mm -hmm. Probably dead. Okay, so it looks like one of them is going to sail into the coast. At least two are. I don't know if those are slowed because they've hit the coast, or if those are just, you know, some of the cripples. I think they're damaged. They're not, you know, banging into the coast like they often do. It is so nice having radar. Mm. The enemy doesn't. Where are they? There's one of the two we were just shooting at. There's the other one of the two. So I'm trying to do these little uh, kind of squiggly maneuvers to not give this destroyer a good torpedo solution. And actually preferably not give this one a good torp solution either, although... These ships Oops, going stop. in might. Yep. I believe that is another kill. Mm-hmm. So that that yeah, that destroyer looks like it's returning. So I I will be satisfied with that. That looks like two three ish destroyers sunk and two merchants. Three and two, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so one of them is sinking. Yeah, two merchants sunk, and then yeah, the next two most damaged destroyers are both Russian as well. If you want a demonstration of why having radar is important, that is a demonstration of why having radar is important. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're shooting them with AP. Why? So they did launch, yeah, they launched torpedoes at us, but, you know, I think we just had good positioning. Five inch. Okay, so yeah, she takes the torpedo from 224 and sinks. So that was one of the two we torpedoed in the night, or in the initial early phases. So this one we scored an engine room hit penetration on. That was... As well as a machinery damage by splinters from a near miss. So that was why she was slowed, plus the flooding. And then, yeah, we came back and just hunted her. This was the one which was sinking at the end. So she initially takes a torpedo. Um... Shoot her a little bit more. And then we come back during the night. She actually does launch a torpedo at us at one point. Damage destroyers are still scary. Oh yeah, she launches several torpedoes at us. Then, you know, she's sinking and we get another torpedo into her. All the Russian torps missed. This merchant we blasted and put a torpedo in. This merchant we blasted and put two torpedoes in. All right, just quickly scroll through the damage. This might have been the other one we were chasing at night. Probably one of those two. Yeah, despite our destroyers only having like four or five inch guns typically, this worked. This is good. Worked pretty well. I probably do need to get more modern destroyers in service.
then yeah, that last enemy destroyer took a little bit of damage. Anything else took any hits? No. At least the uh, the island there is very low. I sent you a picture of the uh, lighthouse that was uh, watching the battle. Uh, where? Um, okay, okay, you're sending it right now. I'll get that on screen when I can. Aircraft losses. We took 10 op losses. They took one. Good to know. If carriers are not in play, um, we do have a 2 to 1 aircraft advantage, although I'm assuming that a lot of that is in Britain. Yeah. Op losses were largely patrol boats. Okay, there's the lighthouse. Mm. Yeah. So that was just sitting there on... I am presuming on the peninsula over here. No, on the uh, on the island to the north. Oh, the, this? So, no. Or this? Where the, uh, where the blue flag is. Oh, this one. Yeah. So this was like somewhere over here. These guys are yep. swimming to shore. Wait, hold on. It's uh, it's February. The Baltic. Yeah. Okay. They're walking ashore. <laughs> well, I guess I guess that's good. You know, it's like if the weather's frozen enough, you can just walk. Mm. Um, you know, you're not stuck in icy water because you're on top of the ice, you know. If, if it's warm enough that it's not frozen, on the other hand, I would not want to be in that water. No. Yeah, so they went this way, did a little bit there, and then came around. You can kind of see us, you know, wanting to engage them. And doing this kind of jump around, then attacking. That might be the like the most fun I've had in a destroyer action in a long time. I was going to say that's definitely a model. If uh, if they do the decent thing and try and run away from you, yeah. Still losing a lot of subs. Japan has lost a raider. Who is the estimated enemy operational subs going up or down? I think it went up. I thought it was 146 or something I last it was. time. I mean, they are spamming out subs right now. Mm. I don't know what that's in reference to. Alright, I think I gotta wait till I get uh, Rune back before I uh, put another battle cruiser. In there, ships under construction. I should probably keep building. Uh... Wait, are these refits? No, these are new builds. Right? Yeah. These are the ones I laid down last time where it's just like, well, let's have a 900 ton destroyer with, um, you know, just a lot of ASW equipment. Because these are three very highly sub-based nations. Small engagement off of Sardinia. That would probably be a destroyer battle. I'll decline. I'll accept that cruiser action. Accept that cruiser action. Russia accepted. Alright, interesting. Oh. So I've got the battlecruisers Rhineland and Mackinson, and the carrier group um, Braunschweig and uh, Schwaben. I really do not like that the carrier group's deployed here and the battlecruiser group is deployed mm -hmm. over here. I'm going I'm to do win. initially. He's from the southeast, so at least you'll have to. Go away from Russia to launch planes. Yeah. I'm going to temporarily order these guys as a core on the battlecruiser group because 
there is a very reasonable chance that the AI has put my carriers right up next to where enemy ships are. Mm. Yeah, it looks like we're guess guessing that the enemy ships are somewhere in that direction. Um, yeah, I'm just going to ready up uh, torpedo bombers without fighter escort. Um, and press so it's 5 in the morning, so dawn should be coming soon-ish. Unknown radar contact there. Mm, okay. Yes. You go to a support roll. So something's charging us down. It's two enemy ships. Lotilla attack order given now. All right, that's the enemy battle cruiser, or that's an enemy battle cruiser group. Um, actually, cancel the flotilla attack order. So, I would not be shocked if torpedoes are on the way. We took a superstructure hit on Mackinson. Doesn't look like it did too much. Six inch channel, whatever battle cruiser that is. Alright, so back here we got a Navarin class. Um, already with a turret destroyed. Yeah, as soon as we can launch aircraft, I will be launching aircraft. Need this. That one as a, uh, okay, that's a Tendra. It's not a Gringum, it's a Tendra class. So it's one of these. So we got, so Navarin's in place. That's the newest battle cruiser. It's fast, but it's not great. One of those is a Tendra. We don't know what the other one is. It could be a Gringum. Um, it could be the other Tendra. So that's either Gringum or a Tendra. Actually, I can take a look at the hits on Mackinson. Now, those are both 16-inch. That can easily be the, uh, back ship in line. Ready to target BB. Launch down here. All right. What the oh, what is that? Mm -hmm. What is up north? Okay. Um <laughs> So they just gave them a fucked spawn mm -hmm. as I would describe it. Uh You guys go to maximum cap for now and yeah, open fire on that Tashkent. Yeah, that's shocking. I mean, that's so close. Yeah. But, I mean, sink the Tashkent, that gives me a major advantage. Yeah. In this uh, battle. And this was what I was thinking was going to happen, it's just that it's the enemy who got the short end of the stick rather than me. Yes, that's inoperable for now. Okay, so for now, I don't want you guys being too close to the action, so I'm going to order you that way. The dash Kent is in bad shape. It is going to be daytime really soon. She's still on fire? Yeah, she's still on fire. So she's not sinking yet. But that is an enemy carrier which is badly on fire, which was probably launching aircraft. I 
Something's launching torpedoes. You are. That means they might be too. Their destroyers could very easily be launching torpedoes. Actually, you guys stay off of... Go to medium cap, because... There's probably not enemy airstrikes incoming anymore. So this is certainly a battle. Yeah. This is uh definitely a bit of a knife fight. Two groups of torpedo and two two sets of airstrikes, although the airstrikes don't seem to have seen them yet. Yeah. I think the air oh wait, hold on, hold on, no, that was not what I wanted you to do. I want you to go that way. Alright, now it's daytime. Hmm. Yeah, that is what both ca or the carrier and battlecruiser divisions on both sides all within side of each other. So this is this is yeah. a weird battle gen. Still not yeah. identifying that third battlecruiser or it's, well, it's saying it's a battleship now, but ah, yeah. there you go. So. We're saying this is a Gengrim. Alright. So right now, the Navarin is closest. Um, unfortunately, there's a bunch of destroyers up here, which are probably firing torpedoes at us. Okay, what's the state on Rhineland and Mackinson? They're still in pretty good condition. But I think I need to do a turn... ...away? to throw off the accuracy of any torpedoes fired from those destroyers. Mm. Fire started on Mackinson, it looks like. Dash can't stand in the water, so... Yeah. So that's the enemy carrier gone. Now, enemy strikes can still reach me. Mm. Um, so I'm going to put these guys on heavy cap, and I'm going to put you on heavy cap. Yeah. Actually, yeah, just both groups on heavy cap. So, yeah, the Navarin is crippled, the other two battlecruisers are running. And our airstrikes have found that Navarin. So those two car those two battlecruisers are running that way. I'm just I'm not going to coordinate that strike. I'm just going to throw everything I can at them. Let me ship unsighted. Okay. Hold on. Oh no, they're targeting the uh, sinking carrier. Enemy ship BC hit by a torpedo. Nicely mm -hmm. done. Hold on. There might be both BCs hit by torpedoes. Actually, yeah, you gotta, we gotta knock out something. Right now, the Navarin is crippled. So, I'm gonna put the effort on these two. Especially as Rhineland and Mackinson have taken a number of hits. But we're reporting a torpedo hit on each of them, so that's good. Um, now you guys are under control. I want you to sail this way. Yes, adjust location, go there. Yes, adjust location, go there.
is kind of a desperate fight to also keep these guys off of my carriers, mm -hmm. too. No, you're doing well staying in between. Just let the carriers go on uh, southeast yeah. to do their air operations and get away from them. Yeah, the other big worry is, you know, these destroyers, destroyers right here. Getting a, a good torpedo solution. So there's only six inch hits there, but we did get a couple sixteens on the Geng or Grengum. Yeah, it looks like uh Rhineland has definitely found the range. Atkinson's starting to as well. Okay. So we know that the Navarin's running off this way somewhere. Um, if I want to refocus one of those, I will. Do a slight turn just because we're getting a little close to the destroyers. I think one of the the bottom destroyer is damaged. Yep. You would order your destroyers to um, take them off AI and send it up. I could. Uh, that's a decent thought, actually. I think I'm gonna put these carriers under AI controlled support under an AI controlled support division because I think the Navarin has just fucked off in that direction. Um, yeah, run ahead of the battle cruisers. Um, We're still scoring hits. I, those battle cruisers are not happy at all. So I need to probably turn in to meet them and use these guys to just run down that uh, destroyer before it can do anything. Okay, so that's actually probably still the that's probably the Navarin. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna put these guys back under AI control. Yeah, okay, so the Navarin's over there. I would like to adjust the location, adjust it there, and then I'll run the second group at the Navarin. We know if this ship is sinking. It is not yet sinking. I think it is now. Hopefully. No, it's not yet. Yeah, this needs to appear as a three knots. It's probably close to sinking. Currently, this is uh, three crippled Russian battlecruisers, but I think right now we gotta switch over to uh, the Navarin. Okay, yeah, now it's sinking. Yes. I would go for the Tendra and then come back down south for the Navarin. I think the than... Navarin's just in a more concerning position regarding the uh, battlecruisers. Or not the battlecruisers, the carriers. I don't know why I'm wanting to prioritize it somewhat. Yeah, but it's heading away. Yep. I mean, right now we're largely firing at the Tendra anyway, so... Okay. Enemy have aircraft up, unfortunately. So those are patrol bombers. So, we are... Bombing a destroyer?
What if I tried to get my destroyers to torpedo this one? Yeah. I'm I'm going to do manual control of the destroyers, form up into a line ahead temporarily. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Enemy DD hit by a torpedo. That is, at the very least, a cripple on the... Oh yeah, god, that oh, tendrils. <laughs> done. Well, it's got that one jammed turret. You never know, that might come back into operation. No, it's stationary. Yeah, it's dead in the water. Alright. Yeah, switch fire to this battle cruiser. The uh, currently identified as a Tendra, but we know it's a Navarin. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that an? Oh my God! They had an additional battle cruiser about. I did not realize that. Okay then. They had a fourth battle cruiser in action. Oh. More yeah, enemy aircraft are approaching us. Oh, those are enemy torpedo bombers. Looks like they missed. Big question is, where did that um, Navarin go? It might be up there. Okay. Yeah, go heavy instead. Not the Nav Okay. Gee, I don't know where the Navarin is. It would be the well, I think uh, it's Grenko. To the north. I think so. Uh, I think it is time for like search arcs of this description. And I also think it is time for, like, maximum cap. So I would like to adjust the location. I think that battlecruiser is running north. Yeah, we've bombarded this battlecruiser into oblivion. A near miss on one of our destroyers. That's not great. There's some dive bombers. Yeah. I'm gonna try to run in closer to the Tendra. I think that's still a good uh, strike location, unless we could find where the Navarin is. Is that an enemy uh, destroyer, or is that the Navarin? I wonder. It's not shooting at us. I think that's an enemy destroyer. Yep. That's the Tendra's escort, I believe. Uh, looks like we're going to run out of ammunition. Yep, well... No more, uh, no more Tendra anymore. Oh, there you go. How many of those did Russia have? Two. Oh, that is, uh, confirmed. Uh, the Tendra class is now extinct. Mm-hmm. It does look like enemy planes from the airbase are just constantly bombing us. Ooh, Rhineland took a hit. I almost think it's probably best at this point to get into port. Yes, I think your work is done. Yeah. The question is, do I run to Liga or Libau? I think Libau. 
bow. Further yeah. away from the air bases. Yeah. Question is, which is closer? I mean, Leva it's a straight shot to Labau. It's not a straight shot to Riga. And I think I can uh, run the carriers down to Labau easier. Okay, so we're picking up survivors from uh, that battle cruiser. So that would be. Yeah, this one, our our hippolog. So this is our hippolog. Tendra was up here. I wonder where it's dragging up these names the from. Schwaben. Torpedo bombing something over there. Actually, you go. Yeah, I control. You start running that way. So yeah, when you are going in any direction, I want you to be going with the battle cruisers. Actually, I want the battle cruisers to be maybe going like 25 knots. And now, that... oh nice, we found them. No hits though. Something sights an unknown ship. Something's trailing us. Just a destroyer. Going to bomb hit on a destroyer there. Okay, yeah, when you're running in any direction, I need you to be going that way. And what I want to do is, I actually want to probably put my battle cruisers somewhat behind my carriers. Yeah. Okay, so they're dive bombing a patrol boat over there. We're attacking that destroyer. Looks of things. Have any more planes I can throw at them? No, I don't. So, what am I expecting? Two cripples, two kills in terms of battle cruisers? Um, I think you may have got three kills. Be my bet, plus the carrier, of course. Yeah, well, we got the carrier. Definitely. I I don't. I think that Navarin made it to port. It's damaged, certainly. I don't think, especially with this distance, I don't think it's sinking. Unless we get like an additional airstrike on it, and that would probably require land-based air. I don't know. I put my money on progressive flooding. Oh god, yep, they have planes that are carriers. Schwaben takes a hull hit. Oh god. You, we gotta get back. We gotta get yep. back. Um. Oh, Rhineland. Oh, Rhineland was at something. Ronschwieg, please. Run that way. Into the wind. Why? Why? Yeah, why would you go north? Yeah. Why are you going north? Go south. Right now, the limitation is Schwaben. Um. Actually, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna order Schwaben this way, so that when she launches and recovers planes, um, she naturally kind of gets moved in the correct direction. Oh, Schwaben's getting on top of the flooding. Yep, looks like it. Then Braunschweig, do the same. Oh god, they're bombing the destroyers. I'm hoping that we're at the point where this group of destroyers here can kind of just absorb... A lot of the uh, incoming airstrikes. I'm gonna run the battle cruisers at 22 knots for now.
Oh god. Nearly there. Branch Sorry, being hit by a torpedo. She's still okay. Oh Oops. god damn it. No, Oops. just so close. You were outside of port. Okay, Mackinson, Rhineland, give Braunschweig protection. Braunschweig, please swerve back down south. You have just a little bit more distance to make it. Okay. Just a little more. Braunschweig limits flooding. That's good. I'll go to medium cap. We're so close. I don't want them launching planes. Okay, we hit something with a couple torpedoes. That might actually... That's the same ship. That's up near Hongo. So they ran to Hongo, but that... Mm. That could be a kill or a cripple right there. If that ship's sufficiently damaged. If that's the Navarin, that might be a kill. Oh, and another? Yeah, if that's the Navarin, that could be a kill. That also could be a sinking in port. Which is not a kill. Although for the... For points, that would count as a kill. Schwaben's in port. Good. Just gotta get Braunschweig back. She's on two flooding, which is good. Yeah. Runner at full speed, that is 13 knots. Now, technically the time elapsed is a little further. Mm -hmm. There's part of me which is considering doing a quick time warp here. I, th I think there's enough airstrikes in the air to not make that necessary. Okay, I'm going to do a time warp. Just to ensure the survival of uh, Braunschweig. Because she's so close to port, she's not flooding out, she'd make it. And we're past the time elapsed, I don't want that to be a limiting factor. So, what I'm going to do... Put the game speed on normal. I press space, and now I keep pressing space. Notice how the time isn't changing. Oh. That's a, a sneaky one. It does mean that aircraft locations aren't changing, so this is something you kind of have to be careful with making use of. And tactically, you know, the Russians would be benefiting from this too. Yes to all. Boom. There we go. So we lost a destroyer. Actually, it would have run on a decent distance longer. But, oh well. I just wanted to be safe. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a good day's work. Yep. Air length is reached, and one of our destroyers gets torpedoed. So there you are. You were right. Three battle cruisers yep. sunk. One heavy damage. Um. So we did lose three destroyers and a corvette, which I'm assuming that corvette was a little patrol boat. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, that was a sinking in port. She's not out. She's not out of the war. 
She's out for like six months, but that's a... Mm. That's not a kill. Points-wise, that's a kill, but we only got two. I guess we're both right. I... <laughs> two permanently knocked out of the war, but three technically sunk. That's so, a terrible uh, name. Yeah. Our hippolog. <laughs> Somebody wants to like correct me on that. Do tell me. Let's see. So she was scoring hits. We were then getting you know a mix of sixteen and six inch hits. So this is the second one we're shooting at. Turret disabled. Machinery disabled from that hit, which, you know, probably really slowed her down. Yeah, so the 16 inch hits are just kind of wrecking her from Mackinson and Rhineland. Bridge destroyed. Let's see. Engine room hit belt penetration. That would slow her down. Okay. 16 inch turret B hit. Turret flash fire. Two turrets burnt out. So. We score hit on the B turret, and it flash fires at 8.36. At 8.39, we hit the same turret, which just flash fired, and it exploded the ship. Well, that's a dramatic <laughs> one. Um... What? How did we flash fire a turret twice? <laughs> Let me quickly post this battle result real quickly in the uh, Rule the Waves Discord before I, uh... Mm -hmm. Before I post that little uh, little detail, Is it possible for a turret to flash fire twice, like, realistically? I don't think it is. Um, all the propellant would be destroyed. You'd have thought. Yeah. Unless it's like the first one flash fires through all of the available ready-to-use ammunition, and the second one, because the ship blows up, reaches yeah. down into the bottom of the magazine. Might be it. But it does say two turrets knocked out, so whatever flash fire happened mm. there got into mm. the A turret as well. So I think yeah. that would be similar to uh, what happened with Sadlitz. Historically. Anyway, that is a confirmed kill. Um, Battlecruiser Afon. So that was the Grengum, which was, uh, I presume, hit by torpedo attack at the end. So you can see all the 16 inch hits in her during the initial battle. Just score a couple of hits on us. So she has high flooding for a bit. Oh, that was a dud! Oh, that hurts. Mm. That torpedo hit from Braunschweig. But then the two from Lebao did some serious, or, you know, basically caused her to sink, but she was too close to the port of Afon, so uh, got into port. So Tendra, so she does take a 16-inch hit first, and then the torpedo sh from uh, Schwaben, which is when we come up and really start shooting at her. Splinter's perforate uptakes, that's why she's slowed down. Um, sick bat, waterline hit deck extended, hall hit belt extended, critical hit fire control damage. 
Pass through fire started. So she does take a torpedo, or an additional tor. Yeah, she takes an additional torpedo from Schwab in there. Turret. Hit Rhineland turret. Two turrets damaged. Mackinson evading air attack. Turret disabled when it's flooding. Um, waterline hit belt extended. So it looks like it's that belt extended waterline hit that just put her over, but she was already probably flooding pretty heavily. Where do we knock out the turrets? I need to find where that happened. Okay, turret Y hit. Turret destroyed there. Yeah. 23 heavy hits and two torpedoes. Yeah. I'm not immediately seeing where we destroyed the turrets. So, CV Tashkent, a uh, fault of a uh, horrible battle generator bullshit, but okay. I guess technically, it was kind of becoming day at the start, so that kind of makes some sense. But even so, it laid out the fleets really poorly. Mm. Yeah, so we were scoring just multiple 16-inch hits on her. Oh, yep. Like, third 16-inch hit on her. Conflagration starts among field aircraft. Oh yes. Hurts destroyed. Winners damage hull. Yeah, fire spread. Sec secondary guns knocked out by splinters. Engine room hit belt penetration. It's fire spreads. Aircraft destroyed. Belt penetration. Yeah, sinking through. Yeah, take that hit. Fire spread sinking through. Progressive flooding. Okay, so it was the flooding which got her, not the fires, and then uh. All the torpedo three torpedoes. Bombers. Just decided to finish her off. Navarin, heavy damage in port. Um, so, okay, so... Oh, yeah, first hit on her destroyed the turret. Because I had a suspicion. Because it was one of the first two. Damaged the rudder. We're just getting penetration, so she's not a well-built ship for this, being so new. Two adjacent turrets damaged, bridge damaged. Superstructure hit, belt extended, yeah, all hit, all hit. Try to repair it, and then she does get back to port. But, you know, that's two turrets destroyed, 24 knots. Mackinson, wow. Oh god, the structure damage on this thing. But... Very little flotation damage, so she's still floating very well. And all the guns are in operation? Yeah. I mean, it's only 10 heavy hits. Yeah. So her armor scheme's working. Yashelbert's limited by coal bunkers, so she's still an old coal-fired coal ship. Superstar ship fire started. Secondary battery hit. I like radar disabled by own firing. Yeah. Kind of typical. Oh yeah, you can just... You can start to see... Like, we take some hits here, we take one additional hit, and then it's just hit after hit after hit after hit. Yeah. Um, so, Braunschweig, so that was from Airbase Hongo. That is legitimately a concern in this region. The Rhineland... Scoring some hits, we do get a 15 inch from AFL and a 13 inch hit from Navarin. Uh, two 15s. Then here comes the 16s from Ar Arhipelag. Chasing her down and then crippling her, and then 1,000 pound bombs the airbase from SU 27. They have SU 27s already? We have Sukhoi 27s. That seems a little unfair. <laughs> don't, I don't... Why are we being bombed by flankers? Yeah. 2,000 pounders. This was the little destroyer that was slowed down, shot up. What happened there? Engine room hit. Two engine room hits. So yeah, she didn't actually launch torpedo. She did launch torpedoes at us. I was right to be worried. 
Mm. But got those missed. Then P195 exploded her. So the bomb hit was airbase Hongo, semi armor piercing. So this destroyer took a hit from a submarine. Is that post battle? Yeah, that's post battle. 197, so she takes a uh, 500 pound bomb hit to the engine room and sinks. Russian destroyer, she took a torpedo and survived. Another Russian destroyer, a few light hits, still float. 178, so this was a 1600 bound near miss, just enough to sink the uh, old destroyer. A bomb hit and a 4 inch there, a little damage. Sunk the patrol boat. Okay, so that was a 100 ton patrol boat that doesn't uh, really affect anything, which just ate three 500 pound bombs, four 500 pound bombs, in terms of hits and near misses. I don't know how many were dropped on her. 100 ton. <laughs> Poor thing, getting in the way. How many bombs would she have had to absorb to have equaled her weight? Hmm. I think... Hold on, would... Would 2,000 pounds be about a ton? Yeah, something like that. Okay. 446 on that destroyer, and then... B195, the uh, destroyer, which blew up the other destroyer. A single five inch hit. I believe that's everything which got shot, right? Yeah. Some stuff rescued the sh survivors, so that destroyer rescued survivors. Our destroyer there rescued some. Destroyer rescued some, and uh, 198 rescued some. Okay, cool. Air details, real quickly 906 aircraft to 366. Um, 31 ops losses, 2 to air air. And two anti-aircraft fire, they had uh, 53 on ground ship, 19 ops losses, 8 air-to-air, -air, and 3 to AA fire. So our air-to-air -air was doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, yeah, airbase Hongo, water and get some. Um, the SU-27. So the SU-27s are medium bombers in this. The patrol bomber. Yeah, that's some of our friendly stuff, getting some torpedo hits kills from the air bases. Yeah, there's uh, Braunschweig's torpedo bomber, or yeah, our carrier's torpedo bomber, and yeah, your bomber squadron. So there's the two from Schaben. Two bomb hits, four torpedo hits, and then two... So Braunschweig's torpedo bombers were not holding their own. But Cap did okay. But then, of course, you know, Tashkent, we sink before she can get her airstrikes off, which was really good. Yep. Yeah. That is a result I will gladly take. So... Two sunk, points for three sunk, and uh, one heavy damage. I guess technically two heavy damage. Yep, that's a good... I'll, I'll just leave that battle name. Rune has finished a reconstruction. Up speed. Combat radius, 296 nautical miles. A nine nautical miles for the uh, Russian fighter, which has firepower of seven, good to know. Still building that. Missile tack. Well, this is going to give me anti-aircraft missiles. Lost a destroyer. We lost another destroyer. 
Estimated number of enemy subs is going down. We're not blockading someone. Intelligence report from Italy. There are rumors of war wariness and protests. Who aren't we blockading? I have no idea. Japan. Oh. So pulling that battle cruiser out must have just equalized it. Unless they got uh, another. No, they didn't get another battle cruiser into service. Actually, hold on. Did something in Northeast Asia take damage at some point? No, that might be it. Prussian in Northeast Asia is damaged. Should probably send something back then. I think I'll move Moltka. Oh, cook and go to... oh, right, those have uh, short range. Just stay in Northern Europe. Is there any way I can... I'm trying to... Uh... Cancel the ordered moves here. So, cancel that. Move her back. Cancel ordered moves. Okay. Close. There we go. That, that did it. I think we move Hindenburg back to Northeast Asia. <clears throat> yeah, Hindenburg's a... Uh... Good candidate. So that removes two Russian battlecruisers and their fleet carrier, which is excellent. Hmm. Yeah, Prince Adalbert will return to service soon. Let's see. So we have one, two, three, four, five in Northern Europe. Or five battle cruisers in Northern Europe currently. I think the damaged Mackinson will be the one I rebuild then. I get an extra plane. It might be good getting a third plane scouting. And then Freya would be next. Okay, um... Hopefully we can invade Sardinia soon. Mm. This is going well. Just need the weather to change. Yep. Convoy attack south coast of Sardinia. Nope. That is really tempting. Problem is, it's just too close to Japan. Yeah, too far away from your land bases and ports. Yeah. I would abs... But if you have carriers, but with Europa sunk, that is... I, I want to look at the map again. Do we have one of the Koreas or not? I'll decline. I'll accept that. That's a far better battle. Okay, so it starts out at night. So we got um, Scharnhorst and Hansa. This is very similar to the previous one. Mm -hmm. So we got Veneta and Hertha guarded by Friedrich Karl and Lutzow. Okay, so these would be the two battle cruisers I'd really want in the engagement. Um. I think this will be good enough. Yeah, 4.30 in the morning, so dawn can't be far off. Yep, dawn's going to be here soon. Press land base cap over you. Hopefully that comes from, like, hacker date or something.
spawn. Give me control. Okay. Enemy spotted. Dawn's going to be soon. So, now one thing to know. Japan does have early search radar. Actually, another thing to know. Launch. So I'm going to kind of try to run this way. I'm going to stay out of engagement until it becomes morning. Mm -hmm. And hopefully when it becomes morning, I can be in a position where I've crossed their T. I'm also hoping that I can put the airstrike, or strategically plant the airstrike, like right on top of them. Okay. So there they are. They're kind of in front. Well, it's he'll attack now. It's only a single enemy battlecruiser. Cancel the flotilla attack, because uh, everything's kind of out of position. So that is a Haruna. Oh god. Why did I launch at that? It's probably the only thing out there. Yeah. Maybe Japan see... Japan has a... Oh, no, those are sunk ships. I mean, Japan has a CV. And a couple CVLs. Uh, CV might be... That CV is newly commissioned. It was probably not properly in service yet. They have one CVL. Sure, Beshi's probably escorting the carriers, wherever that is. Okay, so we are shooting at the Haruna, which would actually be... Let me check. Hiei. Shooting at Hiei. She's from 1917. Yeah, just... 14 yeah. inch gun, not very fast. It's not only 14 inch gun, she only has four of them. I mean, we're basically, you know, these are effectively like, you know, North Carolinas or Iowas mm. or something shooting at. Um, I free guess a free, free dreadnought battle cruiser. Yeah. Destroyer is getting a little close. Yeah, she's backing away now. Swerve. Has it slowed already? Yes. It is already a cripple. I'm actually just going to stop shooting here because the torpedo bombers have arrived. Oh, good. Good shot. Unsighted hit by a torpedo. Something down there. Interesting. Yeah, you should hold your fire for ten minutes to stop them wasting their ammo. She's not sunk yet. She's stationary. Yeah, okay, now she's fire. stationary. What are these? Okay, so for now, target the destroyer division. <laughs> what I'm wanting to try to ID are what are these ships running away? Enemy CA division? Okay, yeah. Hold fire for like 10 minutes. Target that CA division. Enemy DD 
hit by a torpedo over there. Okay, so that is, that is an enemy heavy cruiser. Probably acting as a scout or an independent group. My guess is this is also a heavy cruiser. Or possibly a light cruiser. Okay. Our turn, because that destroyer is getting a little close. They're already reporting medium damage, though, on that Tokiwa class. Oh good, that destroyer has gone dead in the water. It's not a kill yet, though. The Tokiwa is dead in the water. Not a kill yet, but... Oh, Scharnhorst is avoiding torpedo. Yeah, okay. They fired torpedoes at us. Um, that's bad. Mm -hmm. so this crippled destroyer managed to hit us. I should not have been moving in a straight line there. Okay, ready those strikes. We have two CBL reports. Interesting. Might be. <laughs> Are they reporting our ships? That's what I'm trying so. to figure out. Okay, so that took he was dead. Okay, you guys should we see if we can run that way. Okay, wind's moving this way, so Probably have you go this way. Go into heavy cap for the moment. Uh, you go on a maximum cap because yours is from the airbase. Cruiser Division. Okay, we gotta launch these at something. Now. Any target? Um, I have no idea where they might be. Launch. You yeah, know, th okay, those are on our Battle Cruiser Division, but yeah. I want, I want to get those fueled and loaded torpedo bombers off deck. Mm -mm. Where are the reports? Yeah, okay, enemy CVLs are being reported down there. Oh! They are going after CVLs, good. Hopefully, I think I put my strike vaguely down here. Or I might have put it over here. Yeah, so the strike's over here. You go up to Kushiro, you go over to Hackaday. They found something. They've hit something with a torpedo over there. And... CVL. Okay, enemy CVL found. Might be a CA though.
We have to take it at face value. Yep. Sighted hit by a torpedo over there. I'm gonna assume that whatever this is is dead. That's a kill. Okay, so the general order is these guys are gonna move north. Do we have anything ready yet? Nope. TV fires. Guns. By a torpedo. Right there. We're still reporting carriers here. Yeah. So yeah, there must be two CVLs there. There are far too many reports being consistent for there not to be. Part of me which wants to run the battle cruisers down. Part of me which is like, no. I, th I think it's too late. The enemy would have launched strikes already. Well, you're not even at half time. It's. Yeah. Well, also I have a torpedo in each battle cruiser, so you know they're slow. Oh, I thought you meant the uh, the battle cruisers covering the CVs. Um, yeah, that I would be a better decision, but um. Still, I think it's going to be better. Okay. Oh god, you have nine torpedoes remaining. So, actually, you're going to go on to heavy and just launch. At some point, I need you guys to go up this way. That... Yeah, you only have 11 torpedoes left, so go into heavy. Um, launch there. That was only two of the strikes. We're trying to get the rest back. There we go. Actually, I'll reduce that to 11 torpedoes and drop it maybe there. I'll keep that current target location. Don't have anything telling me otherwise. So the battle cruiser division, or the main battle cruiser division, is now out. I wouldn't be surprised if they are heading in that direction. Okay. That should be all the airstrikes out. Nope. Actually, one thought here. Because the Battlecruiser Division's in port, I'm going to order the land base cap go over the carriers. Good idea. Uh, I'll adjust it there. They found a destroyer. CV fires. CA bomb hit over here. Okay, so we didn't score a hit on a CV from what we can tell. CL bomb hit. So we're reporting bomb hits on cruisers. Not reporting bomb hits on enemy carriers. 
That's so, because they're probably sunk with all those earlier torpedo hits in my wishful thinking world. Yeah. Okay, now... Yeah, weather limits air operations, so just kind of get into port, please. If I keep clicking, they'll stay in the direction. They won't be able to do their maneuver. There we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oof. Nearly a clean sweep there. Yep. So the other CBL was heavily damaged, but we did did knock out carriers. Mm-hmm. Yep, he H, Toze, and Tokiwa are sunk, and Shoho has heavy damage. With light damage on Sharnhorst and Hansa. Let's uh, start with Hiei. Getting absolutely mauled. So the reason, the reason she slowed was a uh, critical hit to the machinery. Multiple critical hits to the machinery. But like, yeah, that's that's what's going to happen when... You know... When a ship gets shelled like this, torpedo from Veneta and then an additional 16 inch shell does her in. So CVL Chitose, so she takes a torpedo from Veneta. They have catapults already. Or I don't know if that's a, that might not, tech wise, that might be the AI just being cheaty. Data from Veneta, Avgas explosion. Yeah, she's just on fire. Oh. So she was badly on fire, which was affecting her damage control ability, and she wasn't able to get the flooding down. From that first torpedo hit. She was lost on all counts. Yep. Yeah, fire spreads, fire reduced by damage control. She was going to burn down, but she sank first, and then Hertha put four torpedoes into her for good measure. The Tokiwa, yeah, we just mauled this CA. You know, given the ships that are at play, I'm wondering if that other... The thing we identified as a light cruiser on the side, if that was either Chitose or Shoho. Because that, yeah, that's an early torpedo hit from Veneta. That might have been Chitose. All right. Okay, so Sean Horse, we take a 14-inch from Hie, and uh, where's that torpedo? Yeah, Asagari. Asagiri, sorry. Did you go through Tokiwa, right? Yeah, just bosses 16-inch hits. Fire spreads, yeah, she was on fire level 8 and sinking. So Shoho took two torpedo hits from Veneta, but we just weren't able to get an additional bomb hit. Although she was on fire a little bit. Hansa, so... We take that torpedo hit, I assume, from Asagiri. Yeah. So we sink Minizuki and Asagiri. Yeah, Minizuki took a torpedo and sank. Three, four, five, four, six. Sure. Yeah, Sasagiri was being shot to shit, but mm -hmm. holding up for. Wow. Yeah. So, like this. Okay, so she was sinking eleven minutes after the final hit was scored on her. She took eight medium hits and nineteen light hits before going down. Tough little bastard. That's a lot for a, a little 1,400 ton destroyer. Yeah. Almost got this one. You know it from Veneta. This one was nearly sinking with just two medium hits and a near miss. Mm. Got a 1,600 pound bomb hit on this destroyer, which only disabled a turret. Light hits. Then a uh, six inch there. Anything else actually got any shot at all? Nope. I mean, that that's a solid result. We'll take yeah, that. Yeah. A little, little salty we didn't pick up that in one of these, but oh well. That's still good. Air details. Um, 
I'll just scroll through quickly. You can see our torpedo bomber is doing good. Yeah. So where were they? Oh, they were over here more. That's where Shoho was. They are actually kind of near Hakodate. Ah, if I could have gotten more airstrikes there, but no. Weather just changed. Adelbert's back in the fleet. Good, that fighter group's got a lot of air kills. That one has a lot of torpedo hits. I need the money. Uh, giving it to the army never works out. We are sinking enemy subs, but we're also losing destroyers. Yeah, you just need to boost the Mediterranean position to let that Sardinian invasion. Yep. Um, I'm going to have to grab uh, Rhineland or into the Mediterranean. Does give me four battle cruisers in uh, Northern Europe. It also sends more destroyers into the med. Wait, how many modern destroyers do I actually have? Not that many. Forty-four split between three theaters. I guess I have those two. Yeah, it's not a lot spread three ways. Yeah. I feel like after this war is there's there's gonna to have to be a lot of uh building oh god, I'm dropping frames briefly. I got a brief internet issue. Okay, I'm having a little bit of an internet problem right now. Okay. Do you want to call it there? Uh, we'll see. Usually I try to go two hours and we aren't quite to that point yet. That is very heavily fluctuating. Yeah. Ironically, I can see you fine on Discord, but obviously it's gone all weird on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, just dropped a lot of frames there. I'm waiting to see if this passes. Do you want to have like a quick... Like three minute break or something, or would you want to be calling it? I'll leave that up to you. Um, no, okay. I, I think we should probably call it because it's it's you know. It's All right. Been a minute or so uh, now. Yeah, and it's still having issues. Yeah. So I think with those internet problems, uh. Briefly stabilized, but yeah, with those internet problems, um, I think that's it for today. Uh, Sardinia is still not invaded due to uncertain margin of superiority, which is a little lame, even though we're moving more stuff into the region. Um, Russia, Russia's losing. Or, you know, all actually all three of these guys are losing. Japan's not blockaded. We're moving stuff back there to uh, re-blockade them. I think it's just because Japan commissioned some new ships. Um, but, you know, they lost another battlecruiser. This this was a productive day for this war. Yeah, definitely. As far, yeah, no additional major losses today, and we sank, like, what? Knocked out two additional battlecruisers, a uh, fleet carrier and a light carrier? And a heavy cruiser? Three battlecruisers, two Russian, one Japanese... Just quickly check. Yeah, there we go. So, our Hippelog and Tendra are in there, but um, 
Aphon is not. Because it <laughs> sinking in port. But yeah, that's left uh, Russia in a really bad strait. Um, so we finally really got that good battle against Russia. Italy still crippled from um, everything that has happened. And uh, Japan's still bad. They're still trying to build subs. Still on unrest level oh. zero. Probably going to have to spam out destroyers at some point. Um, I definitely yeah, need just more need to get that, get that Sardinian invasion underway and reimpose the blockade against Japan. Yes. But, you know, this is a really good situation. Excellent. So, from both of us, uh, thank you all for watching. And, uh, yeah, see you next time. Links to my Discord, Twitch, and Twitter are down below if you're interested in any of those things. Um, all right, then, let me save and say, uh, come join me in this. Because you know what's coming. Yep. I'll, I'll do my best. All right. <laughs> Bye! 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 I should hold it longer. <laughs> All right. That's good. Good, good. Thank you yeah. for that. Yep. See you later. I don't know when the British series will return. Um, when I feel like it. I've been doing mm -hmm. it from the depths. <laughs>